All right, today we are going to finish up our warm and cool cities with our ginormous, like, sun background. It should look something like this. If you did warm color buildings, you're going to do cool colors for your background. And the same goes for the opposite. If you did cool color buildings, you are now going to use your warm colors in the background for your sun. In order to do that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a pencil. I'm going to use a Sharpie but I would suggest you use a pencil first just in case you make a mistake. And don't forget to draw lightly so you can erase your pencil marks. Figure out where you want the middle of your sun to be. It could be right in the middle of the paper. It could be on the sides. Kind of start your first circle anywhere you want. Any circle that you do after that probably will end up going behind the buildings. So I just start drawing my circle and as I get to the building, I just skip to the other side and continue my circle. So I kind of go down, skip around the buildings. Don't want to draw right through them. And it's not going to be a perfect circle. That's not what we're looking for. We are just trying to get the circles to kind of look like they are being overlapped by the buildings in front of them. Now once you're done drawing that in pencil, um, trace it in Sharpie. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use your watercolor paints and you're going to use the three colors that are the opposite. So since I used warm colors on the buildings, I am going to use the cool colors on the background on my sun. The cool colors are green, blue, and purple. So I'm going to be trying to be very careful not to get them on my buildings that I've already colored in front. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of keep continuing to go around and paint using my cool colors. Now, when you're using water paints, the paint stays wet for a while and it can kind of bleed. So you're going to be very careful, like where I have that blue around that green that I just painted, it might bleed into the other one since it's nice and wet. Um, if you don't want that to happen, you can kind of skip the different sections and paint those and let it dry a little bit. I just try not to get too close to the other color. Every now and then, um, it does bleed, it does happen. Um, sometimes if you blot it off with like your washcloth, it might kind of fix it. Um, or you can just leave it, because just like I said, you always make mistakes in art, and that's okay. So we're going to fill this in the rest of the way. And like I said, if you did cool color buildings, just make sure your background is warm colored. And then once you're finished, you can put your picture up to dry. And you can do your free drawing. Oopsie, right there, kind of messed up. You can do your free drawing or you can do your hidden picture when you are all done. Can't wait to see your work.